people, yes, you're welcome to Human Hangout. My name is Kofi the Guru, your host with the most, and yes, this is the place to be right now. Um, so, have you ever thought about this? Like, um, when an American officer, police officer, uses language to let you know that yes, you are going out of line, have you ever encountered it? Like, when they come to you and they say, hey, hey, buddy, hope no problem, you know that okay, you are in good grounds with the officer. But once an American officer starts to respect you, Sir, 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 you know that uh, you are gradually getting into diminishing returns. Nigerian police have the same similar pattern, but they respect you more. When a Nigerian police officer comes to you in a situation, they would use sir when they are good with you. Ah. Afternoon, sir. Hope no problem, sir. You see the irony? When American police is angry, they use sir. But Nigerian police, when they are okay with you, they will say, ah, sir, I hope all is well. But once a Nigerian police starts to tell you, my friend, my friend, my friend, once a Nigerian police officer calls you my friend, no, you are not their friend. And then when they make it worse, is when they now give you your title that you already have. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man, they don't need to finish it. You have to now borrow yourself brain and do the necessary. So this is the show. I'm going to be having an amazing, amazing guest. I won't tell you who it is, but you just need to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Remember, you need to focus on your focus because everybody has a target. Stay on target. This is Human Hangout. We'll be right back. I am Mike Okri. Some call me the Omogi Man. Others call me the Rumba Dance Man. And you're watching Humor Hangout with Kofi the Guru. Alright people, we're back on Humor Hangout with Kofi the Guru, your host with the most, uh, and I bring it hot. Now my guest on this edition is a dawn. He's been a killer on several projects. He has never been a good man in anything he does on the screen. In real life, he's a gentle giant. He's a very humorous entity. He's an amazing guy to hang out with. He's a brother, a friend, a father. Oh, an amazing person. In fact, when you see him in real life, in contrast to what he plays in movies, you'll be like, ah, this guy, this guy, is this possible? He's a clown in real life. But in movies, is a tough act. Hey. He is the definition of bad guy. As you would have Arnold Schwarzenegger in uh, American movies for specific roles, as you would have Rambo, uh, that's Sylvester Stallone. He is the epitome of badness in Nigerian movies. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Ikeduba. Oh. Kofi Ma as well. How does a human being live all their life as a bad person? In movies, though. Okay, movies. Um, yeah. My brother, thanks for having me. Who, me start who, who started this thing in your life? God. <laughs> God. No, God started it because before I was made, definitely God knew that Kevin would become an actor. Okay. He would be representing the bad people. <laughs> <laughs> the bad people. You know, the community, the society we live in, we have the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Not everyone is good. Not everyone is bad. True. You know? True. So Kevin has been, has been destined to help the bad ones mm -hmm. to achieve and to show them their lifestyle. Mm. So Kevin is just good at being bad. Have you ever been asked to play a romantic role? Of course, I've played romantic role several times. <laughs> no, Kofi, I'm serious. Wait, wait, wait. did the guy take you serious? No, no. Even the person that gave you the role. No, naturally. It must have been a comedy movie. No, no, no. Serious movie. I don't do comedy. It's only when life like this that I do comedy. The truth is, I've played romantic roles. And I played them perfectly well. I've played a sofa man in movie. In where, many movies, Sofa Man that where, suffer, that, where, that, that people are oppressed. Uh, you yeah, understand? Yeah. Now, you know the Nigerian factor. Whatever the Nigerian address love you for is what they want to see about you. True. You understand? 
the few movies that I've played, Romantic Guy, because naturally I'm romantic. You know that. One. <laughs> that uh, who they laugh for that place? Who they laugh? Who they laugh? <laughs> you know, the, the few movies that. What? I didn't <laughs> try. I didn't try. Imagine naturally, I'm, I'm romantic. You know, there is a way you be in real life, Kofi. You know, see, get as as I get as some people normally say these are today romantic. They don't like self Kofi. I say this guy go use romantic finish the film. Wow. <laughs> That's that. So most times the ones that are not romantic are the ones that give the romantic parts in movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> now, now the Nigerian factor is this: whatever Nigerians like you for, or the audience like you for, is what they want to always see about from you. True. Even as I play the romantic movies, rich. Even some of my homies and my own boys were like, ah, "Who give Kevin this role?" <laughs> so it's not encouraging. It's bad. So make I just did that my bad side where I did so much the drawing. <laughs> Let the people romance him be romancing. Fact, Let the bad people be doing bad. In fact, uh, there was a prison scene where you were saying something about Edo and Lagos and some people took it serious. I was like, ah, no, no, it's crazy. It, 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 you don't know, it's crazy. It's, uh, it's a movie I went to for Flex Entertainment. Uh, Edo will be Lagos. That's the title. I know. Now, I know. And now I'm now opportuned to play a Yoruba boy <laughs> from Lagos uh, that was jailed in a Edo prison and all those yeah. things. Now, the story is just simple. A boy comes into the prison where your bad boys are dominating the chairman, everyone, everyone that was ruling the prison. And when it was time for them to drill him, he was saying, I don't know Billy Gosso. And we're like, so according to the story, we didn't know that was the slang raining outside. Yes. Who said that? He said, ah, you don't know, I don't know Billy Gosso. I don't take over. Ah, I hear my budget. They were not like, they yes. all those things of posted it and I know people took it too serious. As in, I was they were like, coming, they came down on me like Kevo, Kevo. So, and ironically, my brother, Kufi, my brother, you, ironically, in the history of Nollywood, go and check, ask anyone, in the history of Nollywood, no Nigerian actor has played Edo character like Kevin. No one has played more Edo characters than me. So uh, that was what made me go like, I don't they know you. And so they it know. Mean, it means this puts a lot of pressure on you sometimes when people mistake your movie roles to your real life. Of course it does. Even right there while we were shooting in Benin, some Bedo boys were telling the producer, say, ah, Baba, why you go cast? Why you like Kevin Day, Robert side now? If you're not there, do. I'm telling you the truth. And meanwhile, I'm Delta Igbo. We have Igbo side there too. They didn't even say, ah, why not let Kevin even go in Igbo side? That's the ironical part of the whole thing. But so, um, so well, good. your name sometimes is just Kevin A.K. Duba. Do you have any other name? Is My names are Kevin Ngozi A.K. Duba. <laughs> you know, my mom that gave me Ngozi knew that this boy was going to be romantic. And, um, who they say on the day? I'm going to say that place. That wait, wait, say. Um, wait. Ngozi. Wait, what does Ngozi mean? Ngozi means blessing. Because it means blessing. Oh, because the name sounds feminine. <laughs> because it means blessing. You are laughing now, you see? <laughs> That's unique. It was good that Ngozi is a middle name that we don't hear. Because imagine, no, imagine, enough, imagine as a bad guy that you play. You know, people see you when you come to play your bad guy and say, Anna Kevin. Imagine say, Ngozi be the bad guy. No, 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 Kofi, no, don't say that. Too. Where I grew up, I grew up in a bit meta. bit of meta, Papa. You know, growing up and all those things. Nobody knew me as. Kevin Denno. Yeah. It was Ngozi. No, it but, was the, but the way they pronounce it, the way the bad people pronounce it, but I'm Ngozi. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Ngozi, 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 but i am ngozi 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 but you understand? <laughs> or someone would ask, ah, let me call that guy that called him because he may come play this role. <laughs> Nobody would take it. No, so I just you were even lucky. You would, you would have been casted as a man, dressing as a woman in yes, movies. Yes, you don't understand. <laughs> let like him play a Ngozi role. <laughs> hey, so I left All it right. for the, the female Ngozi's. Let them continue. <laughs> like All right, all people, it's, it's been amazing with Kevin. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Let's just take something else for a break. Huh? It's still human hangout with coffee that guru. Ngozi had the Hello, my name is Mark Ne David. I'm a stand-up comedian. Yeah, even though I don't look like I'm standing up and I'm currently sitting down here, yeah, so. 
I want to, yeah. So it's kind of weird performing without the microphone because, but I'm used to it. We've been doing Zoom shows, you know. But it's performing on Zoom, we wear tie, we wear shirt, we wear schools, we wear boxer, Zoom life. So let us act like this is Zoom, right? So if the joke is not funny, we blame the network. Can you hear me? Yeah, let's work quite slow. All right, so everybody has been complaining in Nigeria about the old COVID stuff. Yeah, I want to tell you guys, there's blessing in every problem. In fact, for COVID, notice people, the people who are complaining most about COVID are the people who will actually do nothing if there wasn't COVID. Talk about people that say, ah, or more this year, I'm supposed to be achieved a lot. I suppose don't do this. I don't plan it. Eh? This I don't. As I don't plan, I don't say January like this. If you don't enter mid November, won't enter. Now nah, lie. And I'll give you proof. Do you notice that this year, the advantage of COVID is that Uber drivers are now way quiet. And it's a blessing, guys. The normal Uber driver going to ask you, oh, guy, I your wife now? Nah. I your, I your Pekin? Wait, the way they wear no smarts. I mean, Legosians, I mean, I don't even believe in no smarts because first off, now, nah, hey, you know, if you can do hey. If they cover something for air. You know, you know, you air, they pass a year. You know, you know, you don't know, you know, you know, I don't know. You people, you know, you don't read. Air, they enter your year, they enter everywhere, you enter your skin. Your skin has. Oh. I don't talk one English, but it can't remind me of school where I, I go. So, guys, let me tell you something about me. I'm a very brilliant person, right? But, you know, the records. I don't want me to track me, you get FBI, all the, the, the day. So I studied one of the best courses in the world, zoology, study of Nigerian politicians. Yeah, so I, I don't know, you guys, you guys would think zoology is not a good course, but I'll, I'll tell you why. Nigerian politicians, zoology, don't go last study. I, I'll explain to you. Look at Nigeria logo, our coat of arms, how many animals did they? See human being. No. So that's why Nigerians, we will rather 50 people die than make one cow die anywhere. It's not enough to say we don't like ourselves. It's, it's the constitution. Animals first. We get two ego. We get one us. I'm sure if you check the back of that color, snake go day. But we, you, you, you will know, okay, EFCC. More our institution, more check them. EFCC. What is it in our logo? Bed. Ego. Ego. Let me say we don't get fine, but we get coffee for there. We just stand. Now, if, if coffee stand as EFC is logo, will you, you got this money. If you stand like this, you can't see, do not steal, do not steal. <laughs> sure you got steal. You know what you got this money now? Like we have people, we have like fearful faces. If you pull rubber for police, you say people got thief. Nobody would tip, you put you see, that kind of handsome man. More deceiving, that's not really deceiving yourself. That kind of handsome man, where he made them Niger, Niger police get elephant. I beg, what do you mean the use, use of elephant? As they might be, they chop grass. No wonder police they collect 2020 20 naira. It is all this in their logo. It is, you see, it is their logo. Wait, 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 wait again. It, it's just crazy. So, I studied zoology, right? Uh, when I gain admission, tell me, say zoology. Say if you graduate, opportunities day. You get normally I'll be sixteen now. I know we say the why you know now how we take it doing they give me photocopy question, call give me photocopy answer. You get so I quickly enter school. So they say zoology, say if you don't finish opportunities day. So as when they go on shaft, you can't realize the opportunities they reduce, they reduce, they reduce. So I got this final year. I was supposed to graduate. No, because I don't really have people like that. My actually called me and said, Mark, in the, look at you. Where are you rushing to? I said, Ma, I'm not rushing anywhere. He said, Mark, in the, look at you. Where do you think you can walk like this with this zoology? I said, Ma, you told us in another level that we can walk anywhere. Because the Mark, in the, you, she cannot walk anywhere. I said, Ma, what do you mean? He said, Mark, in the, the motto of this school is indeed an truth. Indeed, you should graduate. But in truth, we don't have the convocation gang of your size. So be in school. <laughs> so it's not like I'm not smart and stuff. No, no, no. I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really smart. And guys, let, let me say this. And so people have been saying that Nigerian government that they don't try, they don't do well, that they are sluggish. Bro, this is the best 
country in the world. Take my word to the bank on Saturday. Why? Because they're not going to open, so you bring my word back to me. <laughs> they, I, I'm very, very serious, though. Nigeria country, you see, me, do you know um, the Jarafat? The Jarafat died. I'll tell you how he died. He did on top bike. He can't raise one tire up. He called the run. <laughs> so, one that bike come for intersection. Now died. Now, there's a question. Have you seen any Nigerian superstar die that way? Think about it. First of all, for Nigeria, before you go feel ride bike, put one tire up. Maybe if space only for the tire for grand. Now you go put one tire up and again will you run. It's not possible now. See the girls portals everywhere. So when Nigeria government, when they did not repair our roads, they are saving your lives. I don't know what do you need smooth road for? What do you need? What do you need? Okay, or a road smooth. In the end, accident now. But there's another bridge smooth. Trailer go leave K2, go leave my Papa, go shoot here. Yeah, now this place I won't spill. But there's another bridge every time. Why is smooth? Who we'll break this road? Where are you rushing to? The police. No collect gun fall off the hand. No give them stick. <laughs> <laughs> not be, not be bad on no firewood. I'm serious though, I'm give them, you know, don't be far, for all of our way they bend. Where they, like, where you go there, like, you branch, branch, branch. Don't give all the police firewood. I will say I know where that joke they go. Same way, I don't know where this country is going. But to end this whole stuff, I would like to say, uh, the police are meant to protect us, right? It's meant to protect our interests, our stuff. Like, you're supposed to be person who go, maybe let's say you strand. First with me, police. Hey, hey, how you doing? Okay, <laughs> na pigeon. Oga, how you day? How you day now? Nah? Say, so, yeah, I did all right. Oga, okay, find me something. Now you supposed to tell police, find me something. Police gonna give you. Could they thank you? Ah, give me more change, but I'm gonna see you for WhatsApp. So I'm gonna say thank you. But it's the other way around. You get, like, my, my own problem with the police is that, as in, is it the Nigerian constitution that all Nigerian police gone? All Nigeria police gone. They must have one useless blue, black, green, or yellow cellotape. No, have you noticed? I'm serious though, like, they must have cellotape. Sometimes the gun, there's no bullet. But the cellotape is always constant. Now, here's the crazy part. Do you see police budget 2018? Police budget 2018, I kid you not. Quote me. Go and check it. Budget. For new police college building, like the old building, 12 million. 12 million naira. Budget for training of new police plus gun plus bullet, 13 million naira. Check it, it day 2018. Budget for cello tape. Cello tape. No, no, no. I know you are thinking maybe so. No, the center day. Meow, 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 meow. That's the sound. Meow, meow, meow. Cello tape. 13.4 billion dollars. In fact, this police tell you, leave that criminal. We have him on tape. No be camera. Now sell the tape. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you very much. My name is Makina David. Okay, people, it's still Humor Hangout with uh, Kofi the Guru, your host with the most. I gave it the flyest. Uh, it's Litty Litty Anytime as your master of ceremony, comedian, whatever you want. But today, it's not about me alone. It's about this amazing brother, Brother uh, uh, Ngozi. <laughs> oh, by the way, yes, I, I'm wearing... You, you know, you've made it official, I'm voting back. No, uh, I just said your word. Today. Because I know your word is what After you today. Me, call you Kevin, you know possible. If I had known you were Ngozi, that time we were doing that skit. <laughs> I would have said, ah, I'm Ngozi, you were having that. Now, what did I for doing with that? Now, that, now, ah, oh, I don't know. I'm wearing one sock and the other. Uh, I love the style, though. As, you know, I'm it's just trendy. thinking. You just brought new fashion. Yeah. Please, round of applause for Kofi. If it was Kanye West, it was Kanye West, was Kanye West that No, we don't need the Kanye West. You introduce this, because tomorrow somebody go wear it. Even me, I'll start her. Reason being that I had to quickly get dressed because she was going to leave, and I can't wait to be looking for the second leg, so <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're here. So um, I, I was going to ask you this question. Um, your neighbor, 
you know, goes out, gives you their baby to just watch over, and then you're just taking a stroll with the baby, and then somebody now sees you and the baby, hey, fine baby, hey, thinking that the baby is yours, and then counts uh, some money and gives the baby, thinking that it's your baby. So uh, who owns the money? Based on say it is you, and they think it is your baby. So who owns the money? You or the baby? Who owns my money now? Who's going to spend it? It's my money. There is, is there, there is no question about it. Now. <laughs> is it your money? If you know it, I will my money. That the person know the baby. But this is real life, not acting, not acting. This dog ah, how does that cost? How is that? Why they talk like this? My, it's my body. <laughs> now let me explain that it's my money. Okay. Someone sees me with a baby. Mm -hmm. You understand? I say, ah, this baby is fine. Is it your baby? I'm staring at the person. No reply. The person now cancel money. It's just like the way we appreciate baby. If I walk into this studio now, I see someone with a baby here. Ah, hey, madam, you're picking with this. You will tell me, a ah, baby, use this to buy biscuit all those things. So, first of all, they put the money in my money. It will not be the baby. It's my money. Because I won't get to and tell the boy's bum. That's exactly my point. No, I won't. You, do, I won't, you, I won't, no, you won't tell, the, the, well, tell the owner of the baby that the baby was giving I money. I didn't grow up like that. So I won't. <laughs> No, I want to. Ah, no. Uh, yeah. uh, At times you need okay. it. Okay. Because my brother is here. The way the way it is right now. <laughs> any available fund is a fund. I told you not to wear the color of the cover. You know how it is now. Let's just tell ourselves the truth. That's the thing about Nigerians. Ah, they can no, no, imagine no, no. a lot of free money, free bees. Ah, imagine this, I just see two million for ground. Uh, who, without who, working. Who, who wants to throw two million? Uh, two million. You're lost like that. The bag okay. you're lost. So I'm wrapping up on this show. It's been amazing. Uh, it's not so long, but you know, fun. So, uh, bro, I was going to throw a twist at you, and then I'll take my quotes for the day, and then we're done. Same for this season, same twister. You say it back three times fast. Hmm? Are you ready? Hmm? You're ready. Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Should I repeat it? Repeat it. <laughs> Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Friday, Friday February 14, 1444. Mm. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Okay. That's what you want me to say uh, fast, uh, three, fast times. three times. Yeah. Friday, February 1444. Father Francis fried five fishes for five fathers from France. Friday, Father. <laughs> <laughs> You did not buy Bado. You want to use a bojo. <laughs> you want to enter it. Ah, this guy was the only useful. No, 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 Okay, so it says, this is a quote 108. I have about 500, but here it's 108. It says, never compare relationships. Your ex was, your new love is, so live and deal with it. Celebrate what you got. Yeah, nice mm? one. Yeah. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Quotes of the guru. So, I see, uh, this, these are just like, this is the icing on the cake. You yeah. understand? Look at the kind of code I came, the day I came to this show. <laughs> Women, oh, oh, romantic, everything. Oh, didn't say, then the Arab ran through the house. No, 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 no. Romantic. See? You got so they've been one. cheating me. You, you, no, no, you got me. One love, you got gotcha, me. Gotcha, gotcha, tea or gotcha. coffee? Which one do you prefer, tea or coffee? Tea. Tea. Okay. I have a mug for you mm -hmm. to take your tea anytime you want to take it. And some goodies in the bag. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Kofi, my brother. Thank you What's so much. What's up? So. Thanks, 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 thanks to all the organizers, my brother. You know, <laughs> all of the nice did here. We share them. No, no, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been Kevin Ikeduba Ngozi on the show. Bah. See you next time. Ngozi signing off. <laughs>